The opposition parties gained a greater presence in parliament by increasing their votes in the June 7 election, a development which is seen by analysts as a reflection of the electorate's desire for a reversal of the trend of increasing authoritarianism experienced under the Justice and Development Party, AK Party, rule and President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Parliament became subordinate to the executive branch during the AK Party's 12 years of rule with AK Party deputies who held a majority of the votes in Parliament acting as a bloc and endorsing nearly all of the legislative proposals made by the Cabinet. Speaking to Sunday's Zaman, former Republican People's Party, CHP, Deputy Attila Kart said that the results of the June 7 election will help Parliament to divest itself from the hegemony of AK Party. A new term marked by Parliament being able to function again instead of the AK Party's uncooperative and hegemonic understanding, will begin in Turkey's administration said Kart. Professor Ersin Kalakala from Sabon University told Sunday's Zaman that in order for the new coalition government to function properly, the extensive powers exercised by Erdogan should be limited. In the past, the president had not been a party in government coalition talks. But in the upcoming negotiation for the formation of the new government, Erdogan will be one of the parties in the talks. In order for Turkey to have a normal coalition government, the authority of Erdogan should be reduced, said Kalakalu. Although the presidency is a largely symbolic post in the Turkish parliamentary system, Erdogan vowed to use all powers granted to the office by the constitution, unlike his predecessors. Since becoming president in August of last year, Erdogan has chaired cabinet meetings three times, drawing criticism from the opposition parties, who claimed that Erdogan was acting as CEO head of the cabinet, as previous presidents had elected to head cabinet meetings only on rare occasions. The AK party, which had been in power since 2002, lost its parliamentary majority for the first time as a result of the recent parliamentary election, forcing it to seek a coalition with opposition parties or form a minority government alone. The AK Party won 40.87% of vote cast both in Turkey and abroad according to the official results posted on the Supreme Election Board, YSK, website. The CHP followed with 24.95%. In addition, the Nationalist Movement Party, MHP, won 16.29% of the vote, and support for the People's Democratic Party, HDP, stood at 13.12%. According to the YSK's figures, though the two now have the same number of seats in Parliament. Kalakalu also noted that one of the issues to be discussed between Erdogan and the parties in the coalition talks will be putting the four ex ministers who were accused of corruption in police investigations that went public in 2013 on trial. He added that since the issue of a trial of the four former ministers is a sensitive one, as Erdogan's son, Bilal Erdogan, was also implicated in the same investigation, a balance will be sought by the parties in the coalition talks to keep Erdogan at the table. AK party votes fell due to ailing economy precipitated by authoritarian rule. Kalakalu attributed the fall in electoral support for the AK party to the deteriorating economy and the resulting increase in economic woes of citizens, the underlying cause of which, according to him, is the authoritarian policies implemented by President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and AK Party. According to recent macroeconomic indicators provided by the Turkish Statistics Institute, Turkstat, annual inflation edged 8% in June and unemployment rose to 10.6% in March. Turkstat also announced that per capita income in dollar terms fell by $236 in the first quarter of 2015. Total exports slipped to $10.8 billion for the month, while automotive exports fell by 27.4%, down to $1.48 billion in May, according to the Turkish Exporters' Assembly, TM. Kalakalu also noted that the other major cause of the AK Party's failure in the June 7 election was the shift of Kurdish voters' support from the AK Party to the pro-Kurdish HDP, which received the votes of 65% of the Kurdish citizens he said. Kalakalu underlined that if a two-party coalition government includes the AK party, the other coalition partner will face the risk of the AK party shifting the blame for failures to the minor partner. He gave the example of the Liberal Democrats in Britain and the Free Democratic Party in Germany, which were held responsible for the government's failures by the bigger coalition partner.
when the MHP closed the door to a potential coalition partnership with the CHP last week, the prospects of a coalition between the AK party and the MHP emerged. MHP Deputy Yumit Zita said on Thursday said that the MHP would not consider the referral of the four ex-ministers accused of corruption to court a precondition for the MHP forging a coalition with the AK party, a comment which added to the prospects of a possible AK party-MHP coalition.